job. Thank you. All right, our final Hodge, our final um, cold reading for the day is where's Adele? Where's yes? Hi Adele. How are you? This is Adele from the Young Writers Project, and we are going to be doing food for thought. So let's bring our actors right on up. by Adele and Brunstad. Characters. Diana, the waitress and narrator of sorts. A bit snarky and irritated by the family, never on a phone, wearing an apron and glasses with her gray hair in a bun and a pencil sticking out of it. Patricia, mother. Easily distracted, she talks in a hyper-excited way, dressed in casual work clothes and simple jewelry. Katie, teenage daughter. Dressed... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I'm oh, okay. <laughs> dressed up like for, dressed up like for a party. Appears bored and or annoyed most of the time. Always fussing over her hair. Tim, younger brother, wearing his hat backwards in a t-shirt, shorts and sneakers. Basically, speaks internet instead of English. <laughs> <laughs> Setting: a restaurant. At rise. Scene opens on a restaurant table and four chairs. Diana walks in first with Katie. Tim and Patricia trailing behind her. Katie is texting rapidly, not paying attention to anything else. Tim looks zoned out with headphones in and his phone tucked into his pocket. Patricia is chatting away with a friend on the phone, making exaggerated expressions and occasionally says something like, no way, or really? Right this way. She stands quietly by the table with menus in her hand. No. <laughs> Tim looks forward and notices that Katie is about to walk right into the table. <laughs> so she checks, so she takes out his phone and starts recording. Sure enough, Katie walks right into one of the chairs and falls over it. Still recording, Tim holds out his hand like he's going to help her up, but dabs instead. <laughs> ha, you got him. Tim, stop, delete it. Uh, can't you be nice for once, even uh, on my birthday? She adjusts her dress and smooths out her hair oh. sulkily. <laughs> nah, this is too hilarious. <laughs> he says with a chuckle as he types away on his phone. If you post that, um, I'll tell Mom what you put on your Snapchat story the other day. Bet. Oh, good. Uh, hold on, Kathy. Ha, wh what are you going to tell me, sweetheart? Katie crosses her arms and raises her eyebrows at Tim. Oh, the kids are blackmailing each other. <laughs> <laughs> she gets back on the phone. Anyway, what were you saying? Oh, I know! I saw that post, too! She's such a drama queen. They all sit down, and Diana places a menu in front of each of them. In unison, they pick up a menu with one hand and keep their phone in the other. Diana looks back and forth at them and rolls her eyes. These guys look like they should be at an electronic intervention, not a restaurant. To Katie. So, it's your birthday. How old are you now? Sixteen. That's a big year. So I've been told. Yeah, sorry to break it to you, but having an awful attitude doesn't make you more of an adult. <laughs> looks a little bit shocked. Looks around to see if anyone else heard Diana's comment. No one did, so she regains her cool. Whatever. Uh, drinks? Just a lemonade. Diana nods her head and looks at Patricia. Oh, uh, uh, I'll have a water. Sorry, that was the waitress. Continue. Diana turns to Tim, who has both his earbuds in. Katie frowns at him and yanks at one of his earbuds. What do you want to drink? Why you gotta be like that? I'm trying to watch this conspiracy theory video. Apparently Cardi B is part of the Illuminati. <laughs> wow, that's fascinating. What a great way to waste your time. I'm ignoring my responsibilities, as the memes say. So because the memes say it, it's okay? Not necessarily. It's just accepted then? Yeah, I guess. Okay, I'll have a Coke. Ugh, unbelievable, but at least he's honest. To Tim. I'll be back with the drinks. Diana walks off stage. That was weird. Yeah. They both shrug and go back on their phones. Patricia is still on the phone and figuring out what to eat. Uh, hey, Mom. I want to tell you something. Not right now, hon. Kathy's trying to tell me something important. <laughs> Can you speak up? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Katie rolls her eyes. Uh, there you are. Setting down the drinks. 
Have you guys decided what you'd like to eat? I'd like the tortellini Alfredo, she says while taking a picture of her drink. Okay. <laughs> Got any Thai pods? Katie Snickers. <laughs> Patricia looks horrified. Tim, that's not funny. Oh, now she pays attention to me. All of your face, this is priceless. Snaps a picture and laughing. This is gonna make a lit meme, and I have, I'll, I'll have a steak with fries. Hello, Kathy? Hello? She hangs up angrily <sighs> and says to Diana, The connection isn't very good in this place. <laughs> Neither is her connection to her children. Oh. To Patricia. Yeah, it doesn't work well sometimes, and the weather is getting pretty bad. I'll check the weather. Starts to go on her phone. There's literally a window right there. Katie just shoots him a nasty look, and then Katie and Patricia look out the window. It's not terrible out there. The connection shouldn't be so bad. Uh, well, I don't know what to tell you. There's nothing I can do about it. Mom, we still have Wi-Fi. Says in an annoyed and haughty way. Right. Well, then, I'll have the grilled chicken salad. All right, coming right up. Exit. OMG, look and ad for Tide Pods! Katie and Patricia lean in closer to each other and start showing each other things on their phones. The three of them stop tapping for a moment and then start tapping frantically. Hey, the, the Wi-Fi stopped working. We know! <laughs> Excuse me? Waving down Diana, Diana walks over. Yeah? The Wi-Fi isn't working. I was having an important conversation. Ugh, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Why do you have to take that tone with me? I'm being serious. Yes, seriously annoying. What is so important that you can't be off your phones for one second? Crosses her arms. Well, I mean, come on, spit it out. I may be a waitress, but I'm not going to wait around forever. Well, says quietly to Katie. Wow, she's a savage. <laughs> Mom just got served. Ugh, I wish I could tweet about this right now. Oh, I get a bar if I hold it up like this. To Diana. This is the 21st century. I shouldn't have to be having this argument over a basic commodity. <laughs> really, you should hear yourself. I have never had such a rude waitress. I'm not being rude. I'm just telling you the truth, and you don't want to hear it. Well, I should talk to your manager. My gosh, do you really want to make such a fuss on your daughter's birthday? Patricia looks at Katie, who has shrunken down in her chair with embarrassment. Patricia recoils. All right, I guess I have to play the game a little. To Patricia. I guess you have no interest in the new trend, then. What new trend? Device-free dinners. All the moms are doing it now. Because if it's trending, they have to do it, right? Oh. Really? Diana nods her head. Patricia considers. All right, kids, hand me your phones. What? You can't be serious. I'm in the middle of a game. Hand them over. This is cruel and unusual punishment. Wait. OK, here you go. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment with your food. So. What's up? Oh, uh, I wanted to tell you, I hit 2,000 followers today. Here, I'll show you. Reaches for her phone, but realizes it's not there. She's having withdrawals already. Pretends his spoon is a mic and mimics a reporter. Just in, a rare footage of a teenage girl without a phone. A nearly extinct species. If you don't shut up, I'm going to make you an extinct species. Yo, stop being so salty. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. It's not working. It takes two to tango. It only takes one hand to smack you. You wouldn't endanger your manicure. So, you don't want to chat. You just want to make fun of me. Maybe I just want to make you laugh and stop taking yourself so seriously. Now, now, kids, let's just try to have a conversation without bickering. Says the one who's always the most reluctant to talk. What are you talking about? Pretends to be on phone. Kathy, can you speak up? I can't hear you over my kids. OMG, I know. I'm spread that rumor. Patricia <laughs> gets shocked and offended. A look on her face. Katie gestures towards Tim, like, see what I mean? He gets so wrapped up in how you appear as a mom online that you forget how to be a mom in real life. Patricia opens her mouth like she's going to say something, but then stops and stays silent for a moment. I'm sorry you feel like that. 
but you two started pushing me away a long time ago. And don't pretend that you are just as obsessed with your constant Snapchatting and, and Instagramming. Everyone else is doing it, so I feel like I have to, to fit in. Yeah, me too. You don't think it's the same way for me? Peer pressure will be a thing as long as we have peers to pressure us. We're all just living the lives people expect us to. It's so depressing. Yeah, it is. Are you depressed? And finally, there goes the light bulb. Are you too? Mom, depression is basically a global epidemic, epidemic at this point. Oh, jeez. Puts her head in her hands. How didn't I know this? I'm such a bad mom. Katie and Tim look at each other, then Katie nudges closer and puts her arm around her. It's all right, Mom. We've been the greatest kids either. We're all to blame. Gets back on stage with the food and says to the audience, All right, let's see how our dysfunctional family's doing. She walks slowly over to them. It looks like they're having a heart-to-heart -heart instead of a phone-to-phone. -phone. He takes the last few steps and sets the food down. About time you guys came around. They all turn to look at her. What do you suggest we do now, oh wise one? No. Someone finally uses my proper name. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that difficult once you think about it. Silence as Patricia, Katie, and Tim look at each other. Oh boy. Diana sits down in the empty chair. It's pretty simple. Stop buying into the bad stuff. Okay, but what qualifies as the bad stuff? I think social media is the big problem. Yeah, but it isn't some black hole where no light escapes. It can do good, too. That's actually how I got my job, by responding to a post I saw on Facebook. It said they were hiring. And we can reach out to all kinds of people. And when lots of people like your posts, it's a real confidence booster. Mm, more like an ego booster. And the amount of self-exploitation. If some of these influencers were my kids, I'd take their iPhone and give them a good old smack with it. And then you got to say, how do you like them apples? <laughs> Get it? Because they're made by apples. Oh, my God. <laughs> but yeah, I, I get what you mean. It drives me crazy when people post on their Snapchat stories like a million times a day just to get attention. And it drives me crazy when I see people together on their phones not paying attention to each other. Like we were. Yeah. But imagine what could have happened if we hadn't had our phones at times. Like when I flipped into that ditch during the snowstorm. Very true. I think we all need to help moderate each other. <laughs> Finally, we agree on something. There's a brief silence. Are you ready for the check? I think so. I'll be right back. Diana walks across the stage, pretends to grab a check and a credit card swiper. Yo, I feel woke for real now. <laughs> yeah, this has been an interesting birthday. I love you guys. Tim playfully puts his arm around her and gives her a nookie. <laughs> you can be extra, but I guess you're right. <laughs> love you too, hun. Jokingly to Tim. Tim. I love you, but I love you even more if I could understand what you're saying half the time. <laughs> they all laugh, and Patricia hands them back their phones, which they put into their pockets. You should be proud of me. I speak English and internet. I'm bilingual. Diana walks back over. Patricia signs the check and swipes her card. To Thank Diana sincerely. Thank you. Patricia nods her head at Diana, and Tim smiles. <sighs> no, no problem. Oh, they grow up so fast. Kitty's phone dings loudly. She reaches into her back pocket like she's going to check it, but stops herself. Let's go home. They start walking off stage. Does this mean no Fortnite? They all <laughs> laugh and exit. There's a moment of silence before Diana speaks. I turned off the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Diana winks, then exits. <laughs> Let's bring Adele down. Come on down, Adele. We're going to go a few minutes over. We want to make sure we give Adele some really thoughtful feedback. Um, so we'll keep it as tight as we can. But Adele, awesome. How was thank it to you. see it red? Nerve wracking, but thank you so much. Um, I love all the actors for all the different roles. It's been really, really fun. Excellent. What um, a great commentary on kind of where we are right now with technology and um, 
I thought you took something that is a conversation that a lot of people are having about our presence with one another in the face of all technology and did it in a really creative and clever way. Yeah. Um, resolution of the family was meaningful. Um, the waitress, you know. So, so yeah, um, let's see. Um, seeing the discussion about double-sided sort of social media, which is totally true. It talks about depression. You bring up some serious issues. Um, critique of adults, adult use along with kids. It isn't just a younger generation who's doing this. Modern day problems, very relatable. And um, very relevant today, good job explaining both sides of social media. Um, I think the you really portray the culture of so social media super well. What One of the things that I love that you did, um, I thought the idea of confidence versus ego was a genius concept to bring that up. And I think that <clears throat> that sense of self-worth that people are getting. There is definitely a fine line. Um, yeah. There are definitely people you know, who don't do it for ego. Yep. There's other reasons that people do it. But um, a lot of people are, think that way. Right, it's yeah. like a tally mark. You know, how yeah. many tallies can I get? How many How yeah. many likes can I get all of that? Yeah. And right, is that really making you feel better or is it making you feel superior? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for that yeah. distinction. I thought that was, um, I thought that was really very, very positive. Um, other thoughts, let's see, very relevant today, all of that. Um, other comments from our folks, yeah. I thought it was really well put together and I really enjoyed how you did bring up some heavy topics like depression and some that are really prevalent. And I think it's good for everyone to know how to moderate themselves. Like yeah. Personally, I know like if I'm on it too much, I get grumpy and I turn into a major d bag. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like, but like, it's good to realize, hey, we don't always. That's not our number one form of communication, and that's not how we should live our lives, just based on yeah. the amount of likes or the amount of followers we get, because that is that will cause major depression and that will, that will literally be our downfall mm -hmm. as a society. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, I, I really, I thought you were good. Yeah, thank you. Another comment right here, or question? Oh, uh, depression is just like a really major issue, so when you threw it in but didn't really expand on it too much, it feels a little bit more alive than the, like, the Well, I only have so much time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. That provided a really nice vehicle for their self-actualization. Like they, clearly, they were actually, it wasn't self-actualization. They weren't gonna get there without some help. Mm -hmm. And so that provided a really nice kind of mirror to turn on them yeah. about their reality and about how extremely disrespectful and rude they were being to yeah. her. Because that was the first piece, is like they were being rude to her, mm -hmm. but then she allowed them to actually see how unkind they were being to each other and how they were lacking that actual authentic connection to one another, which was really powerful. And I think that so that was a really great, um, great character, great device to use her as that and um, have her kind of yeah push push the limits yeah. of it. And it, when I was a kid, there was this book, The Bernstein Bears, um, which take them or leave them, whatever. But there's a book, Too Much TV, and I remember they decide not to watch TV, and somebody's like, somebody's like, how will we know the weather? And the mother goes. And I'll lift the window and I was like this. And I was like, it's too much TV for birds and bears, which is not true. Like, we forget how to function a little bit. We forget how to ask questions of one another, how to seek out information, because we're so, we're like, oh, there it is. Great, done. Um, so I think, thank you for holding us all accountable for being a little bit more present in the world. Thank you for a beautiful reflection on where we are. And um, thank you for your incredible writing. I hope you... Yeah. All right, those are the cold readings, friends. Thank you for being such incredible audience members. We are at lunchtime now.